Hi. Um, today is is a particularly uh, beautiful day. You know, and I had I had I had some things to do today that were very important, and um, I went out and I did them. And once they were done, <clears throat> the day just seem to have gotten, you know, so much more amazing and and that got me thinking. It got me thinking about who we are and and where we are and where we find ourselves because if it is that I if I was burdened in a sense by those things that I knew that I had to get done if I didn't get them done, you know, just having them on my mind it would have blocked my vision of of what it is that I'm now um, just open to, which is just this beautiful day, just the sunshine, it, 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 it's just right, the temperature is just right, there's a beautiful breeze blowing right now, there's, it's just an incredible day, and I want you to, 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 to give some thought to that, you know, to, to just the kind of day that you're having, and whether or not you're able to see the beauty and the sunshine that's outside right now. If it only means that for an hour you get a chance to walk across the street and go get some lunch or something, but you get a chance to be in it, are you able to see just how magnificent it really is? <clears throat> we go through our lives searching for something. We try to find it in religion. We try to find it in clubs. We try to find it in just socializing with different things. But the truth of the matter is, um, if you're able to just find that, that balance between whatever it is that you have to accomplish as, well, in your, hum in your human form, but at the same time, you have to honor that side of you that is spiritual and that understands it at a deeper level and a more profound level. <clears throat> On the physical level, there's been all these different doctrines that tell people whatever they tell them. And so we all, you know, communicate in different ways. We are whatever. But if you take a look at our emotions, our emotions are the same. When we're sad, you can see it on us. You can see the tears. You can see whatever. When we're happy, you can see that on us. You can see whatever. So that tells you right now that the only difference is the other stuff is the stuff that we go to school to learn, the stuff that we're indoctrinated with. But talking about the oneness, <clears throat> if it is that you really understand it, that if you hit me, I hurt, and I feel the same way that it, it does with you, there are certain aspects of us that there's no two ways about it. We are exactly the same. But the only things that tend to separate us are the things that could have been and can be changed. The location where we're born, the language that we speak, you know, the kind of foods that we like, all of these different things are just based on where it is that we were brought up. But the essence of it is that one. So as you go through your day, <clears throat> recognize that every person that you encounter is absolutely and, and, and without a doubt an opportunity for you to do something. To do something different. I don't know, to just grow. And it's not going to be a task either. Once you make up your mind that this is an opportunity for you to, um, it's like you're adding, you're investing in humanity. The kind of world that you want to live in, you're investing in it by actually investing goodness, having good conversation, having uplifting conversation with someone in your space. How incredible is that? So that's the opportunity that we have in every moment, you know. And so I'm saying like today, more than anything, just embrace the opportunities, embrace the goodness, embrace the blessings that you have right now. And in doing so, 
you'd be amazed as to how you pull the beautiful things that you want to pull to you, to you. Today, <laughs> what an amazing day it is. <laughs> See, I wish you everything that's good, everything that's everything that's good. Blessings. <laughs>